What's up, everybody? Welcome to MTC2 on the Lockout Men Podcast Show, where we make the calls for you. Yes, sir. I'm Lockout Men, and in today's call, and today's call is to DM World Transportation out of Longwood, Florida. Their phone number, 407-802-4146. DM World Transportation at DM World. They say that people comes first. At DM World, they say people comes first. They want to understand your business needs and where you want to be this time next year. All right, which next year is already here. So let's see where you act at this time. They said they want to be the kind of go-to service that will help you get there. Their personal commitment is to your success and it's the core of their mission every single day. DM World Transportation. Well, let's find out a little bit more about DM World Transportation. Let's head over to the bit board. All right, so as we checking out DM World Transportation, it's not much to say about their website, especially when it comes to uh, getting driver information as far as, you know, what they provide for their drivers. But uh, it's a pretty basic, pretty clean uh, website, dmworldtransportation.com improving their world at one mile at a time. They offer FTL, full truckload, over the road, team expedited, dropping hook, double pups, EDI capable, FTL brokerage, LTL brokerage, and freight under management. See, it lights up, but I won't be able to I won't be able to like actually click on it. Uh, DM World uh, Experience Specialist on time delivery, uh, easy order management. That's their trucks right there. Working at DM World, we want to make an unwavering commitment to our drivers, staff, so they can feel empowered to go the extra mile for our clients. They are daily ambassadors of our service across the world. View position. So as you click on there, click on there. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much pretty much it for the for the website right there. Pretty pretty much it. So uh, again, as you doing your research for any trucking company you want to expand that research to other aspects of what you're looking for all right all right so let's find out a little bit more about dm world from the fmcsa safer website and they they list their physical address as burr ridge illinois that's funny I could have sworn that they was located out of Longwood, Florida. Huh. But Safer says that they're located out of Burr Ridge, Illinois. Okay. All right. So go down here. They, they out of service inspections was 20. Their drivers was three. They also recorded two injuries in a crash. Six tolls, eight total. All right, so that so that was safer. I would kind I'm I'm kind of muffled that their address, their physical address, is listed in Illinois, but when you go to their website, it listed in Florida. See, that's the things that you got to look at as far as doing your research for any companies that you might be interested in. I went to Google to find out what crash that they was talking about, and we go to find it here. Uh, let's see. This incident happened 
uh, back in 2018, uh, multiple semi crashes on I-65. Hell, I probably might have. I, I probably might have seen that as many crashes I-65 have. Um, preliminary investigation by Indiana State Trooper Paul Arnold revealed that approximately 5:03 a.m. Monday, traffic was stopped due to a crash that caused the left lane to be closed. A 2018 Freightliner pulled a box trailer leased by DM World Transportation out of Florida, Orlando, Florida, and hauling Amazon Prime cargo. And driven by uh, somebody's name that I can't pronounce, out of Brooklyn, New York, uh, he was stopped at the right, he was stopped in the right lane at the 205 mile marker. Directly in front of the man that I can't pronounce, also stopped in the right lane was a 2016 Freightliner pulling an empty flatbed that was owned by AIM Leasing out of Girard, Ohio, and that was driven by Zachary McGuire. And for some unknown reason, a 2013 Freightliner pulling a box trailer owned by Willie C. of Van Buren, Michigan, loaded with vehicle carpeting and driven by Brown, failed to slow down and hit the rear of the guy's name that I can't mention, uh, trailer, which puts his semi into the rear of McGuire's trailer. So that was the crash. Uh, obviously, it was not uh, DM World's driver's fault, but uh, of course, it still has to be reported. But I, I came across some disturbing news in my research of DM World Transportation. And this information I found uh, that was, what's this, Freightways? Uh, by Freightways, uh, May 21st, 2020, this happened to be last year, uh, legal roles forced Florida carrier to file for bankruptcy protection somebody's name that I can't pronounce again, uh, chief executive of DM World, who was individually named in the breach of contract lawsuit, isn't new to the trucking world, having started at, at least four trucking related companies in Florida since 2008. DM World Transportation out of Longwood, Florida has filed in a Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection. This action comes just two weeks after the leasing company filed a motion for final summary judgment in a breach of contract lawsuit against the carrier and its CEO for nearly $1.3 million. So again, when you are interested in a company you would definitely like to know of information like this now i haven't made the call to them yet but we will shortly to see if they're you know still looking for drivers but in this situation that happened now this happened back up in may of yeah this this happened back up in may of 2020 so maybe things has probably changed by now, but seriously though, when when a when a carrier goes into bankruptcy, the end result is really not that good. Facebook, yes, they do have a Facebook page, DM World Transportation. Uh, you could go there and find out a little bit more about the company by way of their Facebook page. Um, but it doesn't say anything to the fact that they're hiring or anything like that. So again, when you're looking for information, valuable information about a company that you might be interested in, do your due diligence, do your research. Uh, 
Google everything, you know, find out, uh, find out everything you need to know about this company. And last but not least, of course, I had to go to Indeed to find out what the truck drivers say about this company. There's one problem, though. I have no truck driver reviews. I got one from a customer service rep, director of operations, a human research manager, a human research specialist, and a social media manager. And we get a five, a five, a five, and a one, and a five. But this is not coming from truck drivers. So it's unfortunate that I wasn't able to find uh, truck drivers reviews on this company. But there maybe might be a chance. Let's see if we can find anything on DM World Transportation on YouTube. Let's see if we can find any information about DM World Transportation on YouTube. As you can see, you pull up YouTube and you see that there's a little a, a little bit of information out there, uh, but not from a driver. We need something from a driver. Majority of the majority of the videos from DM World Transportation comes directly from their particular website there's there's nothing you know from a truck driver to tell you about dm world transportation well since we did all that all we got to do now is find out what they got to say in the call good morning sir. all right all right nori yes sir i think i was messaging you right yeah, 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 yeah. I just got your message. I just got your message. Um, yes. Sir. All right. So Sorry, I just want to. I couldn't talk. I was driving. Oh, but yeah, yeah. We can't. We 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 can't do that. You know. You know. As far as us being yeah. uh being commercial drivers, man, we we definitely can't uh we definitely can't drive and all that good stuff. Hey, so yes, so you saying that? So in our previous conversation. You said that uh, that you guys are not hiring for solo drivers, but you are looking for team yes. drivers. You are right, sir. We used to hire solo drivers before, and then we changed the policy. And we are not hiring any solos, but if you could bring the co-driver, it would be great. I could expedite the service, and I could bring you next week. Okay, okay. Well, with all that, with, with all that said, this sounds more like a... This sounds more like a a 1099 company than than a W two company. Yes, yeah, 1099. So I have three kind of uh, positions: uh, owner operator, company team drivers, and lead team drivers. Oh, okay. So we got. So yeah, we, if you, yeah. If you, if you want to drive for the company, I'm gonna pay you eighty five cents per mile, including okay. the empty miles as well. Okay. You don't have to pay anything. You're gonna cover everything. All right. So at eighty, so at eighty five, at eighty five cent a mile, man, that sounds pretty good. What what would be the average miles that I would get? Well, wait, stop. So that that eighty five, that 85 that, that, 80, that that eighty five, that eighty five cent a mile is paid to the truck and split between me and my co driver. Correct. Correct. And you're gonna drive around sixty five hundred miles up to seven thousand. But me, minimum, I can say six thousand miles per week. Okay, okay, okay. So that, so that's might be a ballpark around forty-two. Yeah, I think that's a good deal because you don't have to worry about the business, and you can just drive. The company does the best to give you the miles, right? Because you are the company driver. Of course, of course. Yeah. But uh, being now being that I am a company driver with you, then I I will be getting like benefits. Uh, what I, what what type of benefits that I will be getting as a company driver? Me so and me and my co-driver. Yes, yeah, for the company, I it's gonna be ten ninety nine same as leasing. 
Oh, uh, it's so me, no, it's so it's not that they hit five times per mile instead of losing the target, um, you know. Oh, okay, so, 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 so no, so we're responsible, we're responsible for our, our taxes as well as our own personal insurance and stuff like that, right? It's correct, sir. Okay. It's correct. All right, now being that but we're, we're gonna, we're gonna, the company is going to cover the fuel, you know, truck lease, insurance, everything. You're going to pay only $35 weekly for the truck. It's the uh, occupational insurance. Okay, okay. That's 35. So pay nothing. Only $35. That's it. Okay. And we're so, going to give you the fuel cost, everything. All right. So what about what what about orientation? Do you guys offer orientation for us to come in? Uh, and if so, where do we have to come for orientation? Yeah. So the process is like this. I am going to send you the application. You're going to fill out the application. Immediately, I'm going to send you the drug test around your zip code. And then after the drug test, you can come after two weeks. I'm sorry, after two days. Because I need to get the results, right? Drug right. Test results. And then you're going to come to the orientation in Orlando, Florida. So it's in a day. So you're going to start the orientation at 8 a.m. And you're going to finish orientation and quickly the, the short road test around 5 4 p.m. It's okay. You're going to be ready. And I'm going to give you the all documentation, the key. And dispatcher, all service, and you're gonna be ready in a day. All right, so let's let's switch let's switch gears for a minute. Now this is all this is all for the company. Let's switch gears for a minute. What would you offer me and my co driver if we was to lease the truck? So if you want to lease the truck, I can tell you the average fourteen thousand dollars growth. I'm seeing some teams are making seventeen, eighteen thousand as well. It depends on the driver and the business, and you're gonna pay seven hundred thirty dollars uh, truck lease, right? How, how much? Dollars how, how, how much for the truck lease? Weekly seven hundred thirty dollars. So seven hundred. So seven hundred and thirty dollars for the truck lease. Truck, right, yeah. All right. Is there anything? Um, is there is there anything else that that that's coming out of our pocket pertaining to truck, like fuel, maintenance, and stuff like that? Fuel is gonna be your part. I mean, you're gonna use the fuel card I give you, but end of the week on your statement, we're gonna deduct. Okay. 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 So we're okay. responsible. We're responsible for the fuel and everything. But what about yeah, what about what? You're gonna say. What about for truck maintenance? Uh, it depends. It, most likely, the rider covers, but if, if the accident happens, then it's uh, deductible if it's not your fault. I mean, if, if it's not your fault, then you're going to be deductible. Maintenance is from rider. So the rider, you're going to just uh, stop by any rider shop, they're going to take care of it. Okay, okay, okay. So, all right, so the truck, so basically we're, we're paying you guys, uh, you know, the amount for the truck every week. Uh, that's going to be deducted. The fuel going to be deducted. Uh, and between yeah. the both and between the both us, how much are we going to get for we'll, we'll, how much are we going to get between? Well, how much is the truck going to get paid for leasing? Uh, you mean your part or the uh, deduction you are talking about? Uh, well, no, 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 no. I, the cent per mile for for the truck. How, how what you going to give us? Because I'm sure it's going to be more than eighty cent a mile. It depends. Again, sometimes you're going to be the winner, sometimes the company. So that's why that right now I think being a company driver is better. Or I have the you know the option that I can off offer the fixed amount. Like I can tell you the amount, you and your co-driver, I'm going to give you this much. I'm going to cover everything. Even you don't drive the, I mean, if even you don't have the load, I'm going to pay the same fixed amount. Hmm. Okay. But if you if you if you uh, lease the truck, uh, let's say um, if you make fourteen thousand, you're gonna pay the commission and and the truck lease insurance everything. You're gonna receive from I mean you're gonna take from around like four thousand. Hmm. Uh, 
Uh, again, it depends on the week. You may you may make more than fourteen. Maybe you're gonna make seventeen. Maybe you're gonna make twelve. Uh, our, but my decision does the best to make you more broad. Are are the loads uh, are the loads being dispatched to us, or or can we choose our own loads? I mean, the dispatcher gives you the offer. You have a right to to, to deny if you don't like the location. Um, Sometimes some people don't like going to California or like the north part, the snowing, right? Right. I mean, sometimes you can deny, you can tell the dispatcher, hey, I don't want to go there. And the dispatcher is going to. All right. So you, 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 know, the you, you kind of made it a point to say uh, we, we can. Uh, so is there, is there like some, is there like some instances that, we we get a load and we say that we don't want this load but you know my fleet manager is very adamant on me taking that load i mean there, there is no like requirement you know because it's up to you you should accept it okay and that and this is you, and this is being denied the load all the time of course you're gonna have the misunderstanding with the dispatcher but my point is sometimes Okay. Now, what type of now being that you guys is out of Florida, so what what are you a re, what, what what are we hauling reefer? Because you know, being you know being out of Florida, it's kind of hard to get loads out of Florida. So, what yeah. what are we hauling? So, what's gonna happen? Uh, you're gonna leave the after you finish the orientation, but while you are in the orientation, the dispatcher starts looking for the load. So, I tell my driver, hey, don't be like picky, just get whatever the, the dispatcher is offering from Florida, just leave this area, right? Right. And the next load is going to be perfect. Sometimes I have a problem. They are just, uh, you know, sitting in the truck a day. Oh, I don't have this load. I'm telling them, hey, this is Florida. Just take the fourth load. You're going to go to, like, North Park or Texas, whatever. Then you're going to start getting the good load. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. we so we're looking at so we're looking at good loads like that. Again, back back on to the leasing side. Um I I really didn't get clarification as far as how much that you know that the that that we would get for, you know, for the loads. So is it going to be based on what 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 the would the load planners find us as far as how much that load is? Say like if it's 250 three dollars or is we going to just get percentage so the whatever the broker gives the amount to the dispatcher you're going to get 100 percent that amount we don't like buy from them and sell it to you okay so let's say the load is like ten thousand dollars right right we're going to give you ten thousand dollars and if you are leaving we're going to keep the, the commission from that ten thousand dollars okay Okay, so give us so give us the ten thousand dollars that's gonna be split between me and my co driver. And then you guys and you guys just keep the commission. So basically least, so let me see if I make sure I get this right because I, I don't wanna throw no no misunderstandings out there because you know, like I said, I'm I'm from a Facebook mm -hmm. group and the information that you give me, I'm going to carry over to them as well. So let me make sure I understand this as far as your leasing goes. So uh, to my understanding, there's no, uh, there's no CPM is it, it's what you guys find and you guys pay to the truck. It's correct. Okay. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you like this. Let's say your gross is twenty three thousand. Like, uh, let's say fourteen thousand dollars, right? Okay. So from that fourteen thousand dollars, we got from the broker. We don't get anything before I give you the load. Okay. We don't touch the amount. Whatever we get the the contract, we're gonna give it to you. End of the week, let's say the gross became like fourteen or sixteen thousand dollars. We're gonna charge you twenty three percent from that growth and then you go i'm gonna charge you the deduction and then the rest is gonna be yours okay 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 and that's gonna so be let's say fourteen thousand dollars you have four thousand dollars commission and i'm just setting it uh, the sample four thousand uh, dollars like spending deduction commission and you have ten thousand dollars 
it's going to be your, the rest is going to be yours at $10,000. I'm going to give give 5000 5, to your car driver, 5000 to your account, okay? You're going to split. Or you can choose 100% to your account, and then you're going to deal with your car driver, all right? Okay, okay, that'll work, that'll work. Because some people bring, yeah, some people bring own car driver, and they make with them weekly $2,000. Because they are new or learning, all right. So then, instead of like splitting the the total amount, I'm gonna pay pay to your account hundred percent, and you're gonna pay to your co driver, by, you know, by yourself. All right, that'll it's work. To you. All right, that'll work. All right. Well, I, you know what. You know, this little uh, little bit of tidbit information is very good for me right now, man. And I I do appreciate you uh, going over. Um, no what do you What do you um, I you know, of course, you know, while while doing my research about you guys, uh, I noticed that uh, I came across an article that you guys was in a little skirmish uh, uh, several several years ago. But I came across, you know, some reviews about the company as well. You know, a couple of disgruntled drivers said it was okay. It was this, that, and the third. What do you say about uh? What what do you say to debunk uh? What what drivers will say negative about DM World? <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, I we had so many di- different uh, kind of drivers, right? I mean, I cannot control them. But my team is doing the best to give you the, the good growth every week. Okay? Um, if you want to come to my company, come on it, please. I'm going to give you everything. And uh, the team is working 24-7 behind you. Uh, we are doing the best. Sir. So did you see that negative information on Facebook or, you know, the uh, uh Well, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's from Indie. Uh, the job site, mm. yeah, you know, I, you know, when I, when I, when I do my research about a company, I try to extend it to, you know, to airy areas. That's how I came across the the little incident that you guys had up in uh on I sixty five, uh, where a driver was involved with a uh with a crash with y'all truck. Uh, speaking of speaking of the equipment, I I don't think I touched on that. So, what equipment? that we will be, you know, we will be driving. What 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 do we have? Is it Cascadia's, Volvo's? What's 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 the amenities in them? So most of my trucks are uh freight liners, uh, nineteen and twenty, two thousand nineteen and two thousand twenty. We haven't received a new one yet, but uh, 2019, 20, all of them have uh, the APU refrigerator inside, okay? Uh, like fully loaded. Okay. All right. That's what's up. That's what's up. Yeah, I have come a few 2018, but already we are trying to lose them. So most likely you're going to have uh, 19 or 20 straight liners. All right. So cool, cool. So uh, again, let me make sure uh, I make sure I get this out. Uh, again, like I said, I don't want to throw no misinformation out when I go back to my Facebook group. Yeah, but, sir, but, I am here for you guys, okay? Yeah, but you, you, you don't have you. You're not doing solo uh, drivers no more. You doing just strictly team for uh for the company side and for the lease side as well, right? Again, the the yeah, truck the, the the truck for the lease side is is seven hundred and fifty dollars a week, right? $730. Oh, $730. Usually, we use, uh, yeah, usually, I'm going to send you the weekly deduction for lease and company drivers so you understand better. And oh, also, okay. there is a, a commission, 23%, and also remember that that commission rate is flexible. Let's say you are com- you are working and the business is not good, or if you are not satisfied with the, the service, you can call me, hey, no. Uh, my growth is low, or I am not satisfied with the dispatcher, or, or whatever. And I can change from twenty three to fifteen, eighteen, whatever we make the deal. Okay. Okay, that will work. But don't yeah, don't 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 think that twenty three percent is uh, like fixed. No, I, I can change it. Another one, there is a trailer rent, weekly one hundred twenty five, but I am I I am waiving from the old drivers. Okay. 
All right. So wait, let me let me hold on now. Let me get this now. Let me get this straight. You kind of like threw a curveball at me there. You you said twenty three percent of uh, okay. So let let me let me let me clarify one more time. Company drivers, mm-hmm. you you gonna start company drivers team eighty cent uh to the truck, but on the lease side or uh, eighty five cent to the truck. Yes. But on the lease side, it's percentage. That's the difference, sir. When you are a company driver, whatever the mileage you make, I'm going to give you four miles, 20, uh, 85 cents, plus empty miles. If you are leasing the truck, whatever you make, 23% is mine. You're going to pay your deduction and rest is going to be yours. That's the difference. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, man. Well, yeah. Nori, man, thank you very much for your time, man. I really do appreciate it. I would definitely take no this. No problem, sir. I'm going to send you the weekly deduction shortly, and you, if you have any questions, let me know, and please try to find the co-driver, and I am more than happy to bring you to my company, okay? Not a problem, bro. Thank you very much, man. DM World, everybody. <laughs> DM World. Look at my bat scratcher right here. What do you guys think of DM World, man? What do you guys think of that call? Uh, the, uh, now, listen, listen. I'm not here to 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 badmouth any uh, any companies. I'm here to give you the information you need to make your decision on what company that you want to go with. That's what I do. That's what I'm here for. Now, it's just unfortunate that it was kind of hard keeping up with Nori. It really was. It it was kind of hard keeping up with the man, but the little bit of information that I was able, but the little bit of information I was able to get out of that was he's not hiring solo drivers no more. He changed he changed his whole act up. Pretty boy when it cleans his whole act up. Is he said, yo, we're not doing solo. We're not doing solo drivers no more. Uh, I just feel that I could probably maximize my profits while running team. Expedited. So, with that said, expedited. He wants you to come in with a team driver, uh, a co-driver, somebody that can uh that can that you can rock with well. They don't match you, so you're gonna have to actually find them yourselves. And probably the best way to do that is to head over to Facebook and just throw it out there and just be like, yo, uh, I'm a driver getting ready to go with DM World. I need a co-driver. What do you guys think? I I need you guys to see if you guys wanna rock with me. Now, let's break this down because like I said, it was kinda hard to keep up with them. Freightliner Cascadius, uh, 20, uh, 2018, 2019, probably a little more, a little less. Everything comes into the truck, of course. You get a refrigerator, inverter, all that good stuff. Um, you're responsible for the truck. So on the lease side of things, the truck is $730 a week. Uh, you're responsible for your maintenance your fuel, and everything else. Uh, I would say this. Try your damnedest to make sure you keep the truck on point because if you don't, you're responsible for that truck as well. Um, On lease, it is percentage. He takes 20, between 23, I think he said 23 or 28%. You take the rest. All right, so that will probably be around 70, probably, let's see, 70, probably around 77% of the load, all right, which is pretty good. And that is split between you and your co-driver, all right? DM World, they was, um, they they was, again, in a, in a situation back up on I-65. I did say that in the intro, but... Uh, they're they're located out of Florida, and I was again, I was saying to myself that if a company is located out of Florida, how are they gonna keep up with the keep up with the with the freight? 
because freight is kind of hard to get out of Florida. But he said he'll make sure he'll keep you moving. DM World, everybody. Again, what do you guys think about DM World? DM World, everybody. So what do you guys think about DM World? If it's a company for you, you think you wanna, you think you wanna get them a try, give them a call at 470-802-4100. Sits again 471 802 4146. They're located out of Longwood, Florida. DM World Transportation. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Lockout Man Podcast Show, the MTC edition. Thank you very much. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell and that all button, and just hit the like when you come in the door. Make sure you like this to get it pushed out. If you know anybody that might be interested in DM World, share it. Let them know that you want, let, let them know that DM World is hiring. Now, again, they're not hiring for solo drivers. They're strictly team for company and team for uh, leasing. Uh, if you do team for company, it is 85 cent a mile. That's paid to the truck that's split between the two. So you're looking at about 42 cent 50, 42 cent 50, and you can, you can garner as many miles as you want. Again, DM World is one of those companies that you want to go in, get your money, and get out. Get out. Sorry, man. Okay. Get out! This is one of those companies that you could probably do about maybe about a year, six months to a year, stack the kind of money that you want, and then get out and get into something else that you probably want to get into. I don't believe that this is one of those companies that you want to get in, stay, and retire with. Because being that it's lease, being that it's 1099, you're responsible for everything, including taxes. And with the taxes, you might want to get a CPM for your taxes. You don't want to do that yourself. All right, get your all right, get your suggestions in for next for the next call. Now let me break that down for you so that uh, you can get shot out for the next call. If you want to be shot out for the next call when you suggest, all you got to do is hook a brother up with some coffee. I am not sponsored by none of these companies to make these calls. So if you want uh, if you want a particular company you want me to call and you want to get shot out for it, all you have to do is hit me up in the cash app, leave your name and the company you want me to call, and I will get it up for you. Once I make that call, once I get that video together, it will be premiered in the in one of the weeks that's going to come out. But if you like, I will send you, I will let you see the video before anybody else sees it so that uh, so that you will get a feel for the company, all right? That's what I do. Hook a brother up with some coffee that's in the cash app. Again, to get shout out for the next company that you want, just put your name and the name of the company that you want me to call, and I will take care of the rest. And you can hook me, you can hook me up with any amount of coffee that you want, all right? For everybody else that wants me to make a call, leave your suggestions, hashtag call, in the, uh, in the comments below. And what I will do is that I will go through it and I will try to pick out uh, which one that's interesting. All right? All right, until next time. Information that you give me today is the information that I'm gonna pass on to them as well. Awesome, man. And you know, honestly, I, I do appreciate that. and. I'll tell you what, if, if, you know, the big, the big, I'll, 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 um, I'll be at if, um, but if you do end up coming and running with us, Sean, and, um, down the road, you know, as you, as you start putting information out there on the, on that Facebook group that you're part of, um, we do have a referral bonus. I just figured I'd mention to you as well. Okay. Um, that's, it's, uh, $2,000 per driver.